All right, so this is my Mortal Kombat 2 cabinet. It is running a gaming PC with a build of Beto Serra with thousands of ROMs from different game systems that I've collected over the years. For a while now, I've been trying to figure out a clean way to have two sets of primary controls. Basically, that this would be player one and two for the game systems in MAME, whatever I wanted to be player one and two for, but also have these old old style Nintendo controllers working for the original Nintendo, um, Sega Master System, etc. The ones that these kind of make more sense for and what I grew up playing them on. Um, so looking around the beta or beta Sarah forums, unless I overlook something, most people had ideas basically like having two beta Sarah builds on the same computer. You boot into each one. Each one has different sets of primary controls for them. Um, I didn't like any of those options, even though I did kind of mess around with them and entertain them. So kind of going through my spare electronics and stuff that I have laying around and kind of trying to figure out something that might work for this. I think I finally found a way that this works pretty easy with just a click of a button without having to turn off Beto Serra, boot into multiple builds, et cetera, et cetera. Basically you can have Beto Serra on and switch between these as being your primary controllers based on which system you want them to work on. So, let's use original Nintendo system as an example here, it's 1942. So let's say I wanna use these controls as my primary one and two. So I boot up Beto, Sarah. I can use these as my player one and two. Okay. So what I did now, now, now I'm playing this, now I want to play with this controller. How do I do that as player one and two? Best way I found is one of these little USB switch boxes. Typically this is for when you want to have a mouse and keyboard and other, um, other items going to two different computers. You want to press the switch and switch the outputs to the different computers so you can use your mouse, keyboard, etc., on two different computers. Uh, what I have going on here is these two little dongles right here. These are for these Nintendo controllers. Right now I have this turned off basically. So I have this going to a USB that's not existent right now. So that's why we're seeing these as primary one and two. So if I press this button, it's basically going to turn on these controllers or connect them to the computer without me having to go back there and actually physically plug these in. So I'm just going to press this button, turn on this controller. I don't know how I got, got into this. Hold on. There we go. Okay. So now I got this controller on. Start up 1942 with it. And this now just become my primary, became my primary first controller. So anyways, I think it works great. See, I can just, oh, forgot this is my primary controller now. I can switch out of that, press this button, move that to the side, get back into the game, and start playing it with this. Now you can't do it while you're playing the same game, but it's not a big deal to just quit out, press this button real quick. Turn it back on. So if you really think about it, you can actually get a few of these little USB switches. They're pretty cheap. I've had this thing sitting around in my electronics drawer for years, but I think I paid like 10 bucks for it maybe. Um, I could... Anyways, where was I going with this? Um, basically, you could get some of the... 
some of the USB, like Super Nintendo controllers or other game system controllers that they have on Amazon now, you can actually probably set up multiple of these and just shut them on and off based on which controllers you want as primary. I haven't went that far. I've only did it with these controllers as primary and these. But I can't see any reason why you can't keep going with multiple sets of controllers and just keep them on the same Beto Sarah build. So I figure this might help somebody, especially when I was looking around, I found no easy solutions. This seems like a pretty easy solution, somewhat cheap to have multiple sets of controllers as your primaries on Beto Sarah.